Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we've got two deliveries. We've got animal delivery and we've got the dry goods delivery. So we've got loads of unboxings to do. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell, join the membership thingy by Bobby for me and I shall see you in a bit. Take long at all. We've got animals and we've got the dry goods. So we do animals first, then we do the dry goods. Ha ha ha. No ghosts today, no setting off the alarms. So we was able to have a good time in bed. So not sleepy Alex today. I'm all awake and we're all good. Wah -ha. Okay then everybody, so it's probably about six to seven hundred quid in this little box. So we've got some good, good quality animals in here. So we've got four animals I believe. That's it, that's four, isn't it? <laughs> oh so we do the first one. Um, we'll leave you for a sec, we'll do you, that's what we'll do. Put you back down. We have some white tree frogs. Should be two, two in there. They're a little bit smaller than what I expected, but they're a good size. Nice and chunky, which we like. So we've got them to set up. Then, wow, what else has Alex got in his magic box? We have a very, very nice beauty dragon. It's a rainbow tiger. Look at the markings on that dragon. We'll get a close up on him in a bit. Wow. We've also got a little box to open as well. There is something else in here, don't worry, don't worry. We're saving it till last. We're saving it till last. Whatever we sell first. Oh, we got little tubs. Little tubs. Nobody else. Wow. Look all the tape they put on. I don't know how they expect me to get this off. Whoa. Okay, that didn't go well, that did not go well. The mantis is out. Hello, hello, hello. So we get her away from the tape. See, that's why I hate tape. I hate tape. So there's our little prey mantis. Little Asian, I believe. How you doing, darling? I'm gonna go back in the tub. Go back in the tub. There we go, that's a good girl. Oh, that did not go well. We'll try again, but we're gonna try and hold the lid a little bit more firm. And there's the end of the tape. Person who does this wants a little bit of a slap. How are you meant to do it? Oh, I think we got it, I think we got it. Okay. Tape, we ate tape. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, he's right at the bottom. He is a dead leaf mantis. Oh, he stinks. Oh, he pongs. Oh, what's they put in there that stinks? Ah, oh, dead bugs. So, we have our final one. I'm going to have to put some of these away because this is big. So give me 30 seconds. Well, one second for you. So what we don't want is anything getting knocked off. So, give me keys. Waha ha! We've got the last budget, eh? Waha ha! So, let's see what Alex has got in his bag. Oh, it is a nice, big, big snake.
Where's your head, buddy? Hello. Is it going to pipe, huh? Now look at that for an animal. What a stunning royal piper. So he was captive bred in 2018, so he's two years old. And he is a clown royal piper. Look at the markings on him. Look at his neck. Oh, you are a stunning boy. You are very cold, though. You are very cold. Should we get you warm? You've got a little bit of a rub mark on his nose. So he's been in a, in a rack system, most likely. Because uh, that's what they get. They've been rubbing their nose, trying to get eight. He's a stunning, stunning male royal. Absolutely lovely. And I mean, I love the mark. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful snake. Beautiful snake. So, we're going to get him set up. We're going to put him in the setups, get him all set up nice. You okay, buddy? Oh, you are beautiful. You are very cold, though. You want to get warm from me for a bit? I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to hold him for a little bit, get him a little bit warm, and then put him back in the bag. Then um, we get his tank set up, and he can go in his tank. See, I've emptied all this out now, put all new substrate in. So all we've got to do now is make it look a little bit cool, put some hides in, some bowls and stuff like that, and we'll be ready to put the royal in. Just to keep you warm, we're going to put you in here with your Babidi Dragon for a little bit. No fighting, no nothing, you've got to be nice. So we'll have a little look at you. We want to have a look at your colours. Oh, wow, look at the markings on him. Isn't you beautiful, sir? Oh, yes. He's about to go into shed. Look how stunning he is. So we put you in here, buddy. You can stay nice and warm with the other beard. Well, well, we'll see what happens first. Because we don't want any fighting. So we do a meet and greet. And you're a bit bigger, you're a bit bigger, so just for a couple of minutes to keep you warm and then we'll set your tank up, okay? No fighting, okay lads? Be good. Okay, there's his water bowl. Ooh, in the middle. Then we've got his hide. Oh, I've got to put that back up. Like so. And we want that in this position, right here. This can go on top. Like so. There we go, so we've got a nice little hide for him. I'll put something this end for him. We've got a lovely plant this end, water bowl hide, a little bit minimalistic, but I just want to get him in so we can we can make it pretty another day. So if we go get him now and put him in. I think he's been trying to escape. He's been nearly, nearly. We put him back in the bag we did. Hello, sir. We're coming to get you out again. You coming? Ah! There we go. So we got a snakey. Hello, my buddy. Doing really well, he is. Really settling in, really tight. Really happy with him. So I've got a mealworm. How's I get a mealworm on me? Oh, I don't know. Put it in the bucket. There we go. So we we'll open the tank. I'm really happy with him. He's nice. He's tight. He's, uh, you can touch him on the head. He's not bothered by nothing. So, that's sweet. So we put him in the tank. There you go, darling. Oh, look at that, a nice hide. Oh, she's still attached to my arm, look. <laughs> there you go, my buddy. Look at his markings, man. What a stunning male. Some of them look like faces. <laughs> nearly all the way in. Nearly, 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 nearly. Oh, look at that. 
He nearly ill. Just got a little bit of tarnic, he's got dots on his tail. There we go, happy snake in his little hide. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that beautiful animal. He's got a carpet python head, he really does. Come on, light, we can't see him. There we go. Definitely got like a, the look and the colours of a carpet python. That's the glass, mate. That's the glass. He's not used to a glass viv, I don't think. You've been in a, he's been in a, uh, in a rack system, so it's basically drawers. So he doesn't know what glass is. I think that's the problem. You don't know what glass is, do you, buddy? You've never been in a glass tank before. So when they breed them on mass, and they've got thousands and thousands of snakes, they keep them all in, in drawers. I'll see if I can get a picture to pop up for you so you get an idea of a, a snake rack system but that's what they keep them in. Um, it's so they can keep stuff on mass and keep thousands of snakes because you wouldn't be able to, the amount of space they'd need for these. The, in this they would have one snake, two snakes, three snakes, four snakes. In this size area they would have four snakes in drawers. So for this you've got one snake compared to four so that's why they do it so they can mass produce them. But I'm an advocate for tanks, if I was truthfully honest. Look at his markings, man. So I've just built a new enclosure for him. So we're going to try, see if we can get him in. Might have to just, can we get that in, can we? Or oh, we can. There we go. So we take the lid off. Like so. Come on, froggies. There we go, there's one out. Come on, there's number two. We can leave the moss in there for him. There we go, we'll spread the moss out a little bit. Ah, what's you doing? Who's he scooped? He wasn't paying attention. He was too busy doing the moss. Waha, safe. So we've got one there, one there going around living their best life. Finally got enough time to start doing the unboxing. So uh, we've got big plant delivery for in there. Um, and I've got some cool bits and bobs as well. So we go through it all and see what we got. Our plants. Whoa, let's see what we got. Hopefully they're in one piece, which would be nice. Oh, it's not looking shabby. Oh, can we lift it up, lift it up, Okay, don't look too bad. Looks the right way up, at least. So, we'll get them all eight and have a butcher's. Oh, so we've got a couple in there. Oh, they're stuck together. Got a bunch there. Oh, that was okay. Another one there. Oh, oh, it's all stuck together. It's all stuck together. Waha. Wow. Come back them in a minute. We go through the rest of the box. Come on. Come on. You can do it. No. It doesn't want to do it. Uh, left handed is not fun. What's we got in the box? Ooh, heat mats, heat mats. That's a big heat mat. Oh, we got two. That one's huge. Look at it. Oh, those are some proper heat mats. Proper, proper. And a nickel one. Ooh, we've got a mystery package. Ripsy boost! Two bags. Oh, we've got some logs. We've got a branch. And what's we got? What's we got? 
Some colour branches. They're nice. These should be small tubes. There's not much small about them. Oh, I don't know. I've been trying to get small tubes for ages. And they're just sending me big. That is actually pretty cool though. That might make a nice wall mount. Oh, another reasonably large. I'd class them as mediums if it was me. I mean, the smalls I class as small right there, about that big. Not that big thing over there. A reasonable amount. Oh, we got some smaller ones. Wee! Bag, we're in the bag. What's we got? Oh, we've got a. We've got a. Why? Oh, that's another cool one. We ain't doing too bad. Put them right in the bag now. Right in the bag. Okay, so we got another one. Another one. Another one. And then we got a big one. Okay, we can deal with that. Wah, bah, bah. Ah, no, no. T not very good at Tetris. Didn't do too bad on the court bark. We've got some cool pieces. I ain't too bad either. Blue Peter style. I've opened them all up ready. We've just got to get them out and plonk them in there now so we get a good look at them. You've got to see me untaping them and struggling. We'll go this one first. Quite a big bushy one. Oh, look at that. Come on, bush. Out. Out. There we go. Look at that. That's a stunning bit of bush. Well, hopefully we get this all set up now and everyone will be lovely. Okay, so what we got here? Oh, he's got moss in him. Oh, I've knocked them over. But that's nice. We likes one with moss. We likes that. You can go right to the front. And then we got these two. We likes these ones because they look like bamboo. There we go. There's them two. Move some of these because I've just replanted this when I made a new plant. So what has happened here? Look at all the dirt's come out of it. Let's have a look at her. Oh, that's a pretty one. If it wasn't a little bit knocked over. Move that there, let the water wash it off. It's all covered in dirt. Oh, who's in here then? Oh, it's another one of my big ones. He likes these. Oh, there we go. Another one. Towards the back, because they're quite tall. Two of these. Wow. We do like these ones. What? That's what? Out the bag, come on. Wow. It's looking better already. Last two bunches. Wow. I like that. That looks like a proper tree. Oh, I really do like that. That might have to stay with me, that might. It must be hard for everybody to get the good stuff because I pinches it. <laughs> We've got a nice little creeper. He likes a creeper, climbs up the backs and all the plants and the logs. You can go right there. These ones, we got the ickle ones. So we've got this one, very pretty. With the pink veins, you can go right at the front. And we've got another one. You can go right in the front as well. <laughs> so now I need to do some cleaning. Because you know me, always a messy so and so. So we clean up all the mess and we get back to doing animal stuff. So in here we have our banded leaf toe gecko. And she's very naughty because she's got round the back of the tank. 
So we're going to have to go around, get her out the back of the tank and try and get her to come back through and then block it all off. She is the naughty gecko around the back of the tank. So she must have gone through that little hole at the top. Can't see many other holes in the back really. So we try our best to get her back out and then try and block it all off. So she doesn't like my hand. She's been moving away, trying to get out. So if we make a hole for her, I should be able to direct her with my hand. So if we make a little hole, oh, she's going right down the bottom. She's kicking off. So we need to make sure that we can get some of this. Oh, she's going to go around that way. Oh, that's it, keep going. She must know her way out. Come on, up you go. Come on, that way, up, 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 up. So see if we can make a little hole for her to come out of. Okay, she can get out there now. Come on, Bush, let go. There we go. So I'll shut this back up and we'll try and get her to come up and over. Darling, you've got to move for us. Come on. You was moving before, you're not moving now. Come on, you've got to go back over this way. Oh, she's not scared of my hand anymore. Uh, what else could we do? I'm oh, nearly there. Up, 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 up. Up and over, up and over, up and over. That's a girl. Keep going. Yay! At the bottom, so we let her find a spot. And then we can spend the time in blocking up the holes. So we put this piece back. There we go. Put the moss back in. And we're gonna get some more moss and block up all these holes really, 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 really well. Got moss. So now we just need to squash any holes up. So I've had a look around the back and I'll show you. So there's slight gaps down this side, a little bit there, but I can't see much else. So I think she's come through here. So we block this up. I've blocked up all the holes. So she should be nice and safe. But lads, how are we doing? Are we all chilling out today, are we? Oh, kisses. Are you best buddies now? Oh, that's what we like, best buddies. So I think we'll leave you in here today, what do you think? Do you want to stay in here today? We'll leave them in here today. If we have any troubles, we'll separate them both off. But I think they're, since they're so small, I think they'll be okay together at the moment. And I'll get them all separated tomorrow. I think that'd be the best option. Let them chill out. No worries, no stress. And we can sort them out tomorrow, I think. You was all proud. I know you're a nice pretty dragon. I made two tanks for our two new mantises. So we've got mantis number one and mantis number two. So really, the one could do with something a little bit bigger than that, but I'll sort that out once we get a bigger tank. Um, of course it would have gone in the one when I broke the glass so we're struggling for stuff at the moment but we're gonna limp along should be fine in this size uh, we've got to look for him what else we got I've oh, we got the dead leaf in here come on little buddy out you come you can go in there for me no okay he's on my finger He's looking lovely. You can go in for me. No? Is it going to be a two-handed job? I think so. We go happily on a branch. So we shall put some fruit flies in, give her a spray, and then she's done. She's under that log. We'll put some fruit flies in, and hopefully she's going to have a munchie. Okay, so there's some fruit flies. Whoa, loads, loads are coming out, loads are coming out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She gonna have some? No, she's not moving. So we we'll put the lid on and we'll leave her to it. We've got to do the bigger one now. Oh, there we go, there she is. Whoop. So we're gonna convince her to come on my finger, maybe. There we go. Convince her to go on my finger. Oh, you're going to attack my finger instead. So we can put her on in like this. 
onto the branch like so perfect so we'll give her a spray where's my sprayer put the lid on and we might give her a locust tomorrow because she looks like she's got a big bum Hey then everybody, that's all the time I've got for today, so please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me, join the Snake Island membership tribe if you'd like to, and if you want to watch another video, there's a, there should be one there, if you want to subscribe to our channel, it's up there, if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there, so I'll see you in the future, bye!